There was absolute silence in the room as councillors absorbed in microscopic detail the catalogue of failures at DG1, failures that went back 20 years. The man that headed up the inquiry, Professor John Cole, has led this kind of investigation before, but he described the scale of the issues here as one of a kind and disturbing. We would have expected um, from a major national contractor a much higher standard of build, and I think to some degree the council relied on the fact that it was a large national contractor who would have provided a building of quality to them. Unfortunately, their um, reliance on that was misplaced in this situation. And I would say in my own experience, it is unique to have found so many defects in a major new building built for a public authority. Now, Professor Cole says he wasn't asked to write a whodunit. Nevertheless, his inquiry did find that fundamentally the issues at DG1 were caused by an unacceptable build and design quality and by fundamental failures by the contractor at all levels. It's worth noting that that contractor, Keir, has now folded and didn't participate in the inquiry. But the report also found that the council made mistakes, including the fact that it didn't have the necessary skills and expertise to check up on the work going on and it just relied too heavily on the contractor. It found that they'd opened the centre too soon before investigations into things like fire precautions had been thoroughly carried out and that once the centre was open, they didn't maintain it properly. The council said it would apologise for its mistakes. There have been calls for a criminal investigation into what went on at DG1 and no doubt the police will be looking very carefully at this report. Meanwhile, with the remedial works well underway, it is planned that the centre will reopen next autumn.